So whenever, whenever I talk about the paint object, the paint object represents the brush, right? Views draw themselves in the on draw. So let me just first tell you, show you the example, and then only you'll be make, able to make some cues out of it. So here I have the drawing brush application. So here I have created two classes. One is the drawing brush dot Java, which will be holding the active D. All right. In this application, if you can see, I'm not specifying any layout. If you all can see, I'm not specifying any layout because what I'm ultimately doing is I'm creating a class which will be extending the view class. All right. And you can see that my touch view class. If I go on to here, you can see my touch view event class extends the view class. All right. Here, what I'm doing is I'm creating various variables. So I'll just first run this up for all of you, so that we can talk about the, all the parameters one by one. So if I Try, try to draw anything, you can see there's a circle and there's a line that is going along. Can you all just see that? The circle along with the line. Alright, so let's talk about all these attributes one by one now. So here what I have is, I have few objects. Just remember, there are two objects that are working for the line and there are two objects that are working for the circle. So here are the various four objects that I have. The paint, the path, the circle paint and the circle path. Right? On the my event touch view what I'm doing is I'm setting up the parameters. So the parameters are the ones that I'm using in my application. For example, the paint region that I have available to me is the complete region. Right? So that is where the parameters comes into picture. You can see the parameters being wrap content and wrap content. All right. Then I'm setting some site type of styles to my paint. That is the line that I'm drawing. Here you can see that the anti alias equal to true. The color black. The style. The stroke join. The stroke width as to how big the width of the stroke is. Similarly. For the circle paint attributes, I'm having some attributes like anti alias, color, style, stroke, join, stroke width. Now what I'm doing is I have a parent linear layout. Right? Then I'm adding some few buttons onto the parent linear layout. The reset button, if I click on the reset button or the clear screen button, it will just clear up. Or you can see that path.reset and then post invalidate so that it calls the draw again. On the on draw, this is the method that gets called whenever I'm drawing something onto the canvas. I say canvas dot draw, draw what? Path with the help of paint method and circle path with the help of circle paint object. These are the touch events like whenever I move up, move down, what should happen here? So I'm just saying path dot move to point, path dot move to point, and similarly path dot reset if my action is up. That is, I have taken the I have taken my key up, that means my path ha can be anywhere now. I do not need to hold the old path. All right, So that's what I'm doing here. And finally calling invalidate, which will just force a view to draw again. So I, I'll let you all take a look here at this particular sample code. I'll just, just tell me whenever you have finished reading the complete line, then I'll just scroll down. All right. So I request you all to take a look and if you have any problems you can ask me up onto the chat window.
I have used canvas few months ago, ball movement with collisions, assuming zero friction and no energy loss for collision. So have you created that application on Android Niladri? Would you like to show us the application that you have created? Do you have the machine with you? Is this the same machine that you have built the application on? Do you have the source code with you? Sure. Take your time and if you feel like uh, you are whenever you are ready, you can just tell us so that everybody can take a look at what all you have done. All right? All right, so I should scroll down a little so that everybody can see it. Just let me know whenever you are finished with the code read up. If there is any problem, you can let me know about them. And if you are finished with the code uh, code reading up and, and understanding what exactly the code is doing, then you can just let me know about it. Uh, as if in order to save what we have drawn on the screen, you have to take a screenshot of the image, of the screen, alright? There are actually multiple ways of doing that. Uh, either you can have the gesture recognizer that you can use in your application for a signature type of component, alright? You can have it like that. Or what you can do is you can find out ways how you can capture the image from the device itself, alright? So there are two ways of doing it. If you want to capture something like an image, you can have the gesture recognizer for that, gesture libraries of Android. If you want to save it up as a text or something, then you have to have the various recognizers, the text recognizers. All right? So should I scroll down further? I hope everybody, everything is clear with everyone here. Any doubts, any queries that you people have? So let me tell you about all the possibilities that you can use here. As if invalidate, what it actually does is it removes the current view and asks the view to be drawn again. It's like a, uh, that suppose you want to repaint if you, I don't know whether you people know about it or not. It's very much like a repaint method on canvas. Right? So these are the various properties that have been used here. 